Oh my god, it's not coming off! And we'll just paint over it. Well, hey there, folks, and uh, welcome back. I guess. Look what Mrs. Sausage found at the Goodwill. Guy Fieri's food. Cooking it, living it, loving it. If you ask me, she overpaid by $2.99. It would have been a better value finding it in the dumpster. But irregardless, it's the season of turkey. And what better way to mess up Thanksgiving than to cook a meal designed by Guy Fieri himself? Where is it? And... There we go. That's what we're going to be making today. Ooh, and only five steps. That's a good amount of steps. Six more is way out of line. Okay, so the first thing that we have to do is prep all this stuff. Oh, gee, none of that. None of that stayed on. Okay, I, uh, oh, wait, we, we still got to do the turkey. Cook turkey breast. What? No wonder why there's only five steps. He skipped like half the steps. Doesn't even say how to season it. Some salt, some pepper, and a little garlic. Are there any other steps that you left out, Guy Fieri? Like, do I need to milk the cow for the cream? Of course it's going to be only five steps when you don't mention that you got to cook half the food before you start. I've been at this for about 30 minutes. And we're not even at step one. All right, start your timers, because we're ready to finally start. We're still on step two. Doesn't say a single thing about seasoning any of this stuff, by the way. The only thing that's getting salt is the water. I was too lazy to mince this garlic myself. How isn't one and three the same step? And step four is to pour tequila around the edge of the pan to deglaze it, but it doesn't mention anything about taking the stuff out of the pan first. I'm gonna dump it out in this bowl. You know what kind of bowl that is. And this calls to deglaze with an ounce of tequila, which... You know, I'm no mathematician. No one can figure that out. Then add a half a cup of heavy cream. It smells like tequila cooked in heavy cream. Are we ever going to introduce any spices to this? We do need to add the lemon juice and a little bit of cilantro. Add some salt to it. <laughs> God, it's like it's like it's like if Mrs. Sausage wrote this. Ah. Can you imagine tossing this fettuccine with all that garbage in the pan? Give it the old Parmesan cheese treatment. Okay, so final step is to nest the pasta on a serving plate. Slops on, everybody! And it says to finish it off with some cracked black pepper and lime wedges. The freshly cracked black pepper isn't gonna save this. You know what would? I don't know, maybe using more than one spice? Uh... Uh... It's okay. Let's give it a little taste test here. <coughs> it's, it's too much black pepper. It tastes like someone's uncle was drunk in the kitchen. I rate the recipe a three out of five. But will it taste better in sausage form? <coughs> Not at the finish line. Don't do me a dead. Don't, don't do it at the finish line. Oh, that piece of turkey is now floor turkey. It kind of just looks like ground turkey. Wouldn't it be amazing if this turned out well? That's me in the corner. That's me in the spotlight. Losing my sausages. In three, two, one. Let's sausage. That's, uh, that's a whole lot of extra casing. You know, to do all that work just to end up with a sausage this big is kind of disappointing. With special thanks to today's Mark Boxalo box artist, this guy! I'm only allowing this Boxietti art because we're doing an episode with Guy Fieri. And certainly not this bald pr this Will It Blow is brought to you by Factor 75. I get it. You come home from a long day of work and don't really feel like whipping up a complete dinner from scratch. Enter Factor 75. Now owned by HelloFresh. Factor 75 has the ready meals you're looking for. So you can skip the extra trip to the grocery store and the chopping and the prepping and the cleaning up too. While still getting the flavor and nutrition.
nutritional quality you crave. Forget 30 minute meals, forget 15 minute meals, because Factors Fresh, never frozen meals are ready in just two minutes. So all you have to do is heat and enjoy. And hey, did someone say the holidays were right around the corner? Because they are. Forget stressing over meal prepping this holiday season and choose from over 35 weekly flavor packed meals that support a healthy lifestyle, keep your fridge stocked, and is delivered right to your door. I love it because it's just so easy to make. Just pop it in the microwave for two minutes, and I'm enjoying meals like cilantro jalapeno pork chops or sun-dried tomato chicken. Head to Factor75.com or click the link below and use code SAUSAGE50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. So will it blow? Wow, what a, what a, what a, what a letdown that one was. Just like the recipe we did for drunken turkey, whatever the heck that was. So I'm going to have to give that will it blow half a ruffalo. Also known as a full-size Fieri. <laughs> eh, if you get it, you get it. Here we go! Okay, looks pretty done to me. The score to beat is three. Let's open it up and see how we did. Oh, I caught the mic with that one. It looks mushy. Okay, here we go. Despite all the odds, despite all the bad recipe instructions, this turned out to be a great sausage. I can taste the turkey, the peppers, the tequila sauce. It's uh, it's all very good. Turning it into a sausage was a great improvement. Um, I'll 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 subtract one point just because it's mushy, but you know it's it's noodles. We've never had a we've never had a noodle sausage come out not mushy, so you know that was to be expected. Uh, but overall I'm impressed. All right. So, you know what? Instead of throwing this directly in the garbage, I think that, uh, I think we'll, I think we'll keep this. I can't, can't get the sticker off. Uh, but I'm still not going to give that spiky-haired freak an apology. So I'm going to have to give this sausage here a four out of five. Bop, 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 bop.